Now in part two, we're going to talk about 30, 60, 90. So this is where I have a 60 degree angle and a 30 degree angle in my right triangle. So this time, the measure of the hypotenuse is twice the measure of the shorter leg. So there's one of my relationships. And the measure of the longer leg is the square root of 3 times the measure of the shorter legs. So I have two separate equations. So let's write them like equations. So the hypotenuse is 2 times a short leg. And the long leg is the square root of 3 times the short leg. Now what is this short leg, long leg business? So remember way back to the first unit, um, first quarter when we talked about the relationships of angles and sides. The smallest angle will have the smallest side opposite. This is the middle sized angle with the longer of the two legs. And then the hypotenuse is opposite the biggest angle. So the short leg is the one that's always opposite the 60 or the 30 degree, and the long leg is always opposite the 60. So that's how we're going to set up our problems. So let's jump ahead to our examples. So B is a 30, 60, 90. Now what do I know? I'm missing the long leg. I know the hypotenuse, and this is 30, so that makes this the short leg. Now, both the hypotenuse and the long leg are linked to the short leg. So if I want the long leg, the long leg is the short leg times the square root of 3. Here's my short leg, so my long leg is 8 square roots of 3. And the nice thing is, if you do the Pythagorean theorem and do 8 squared plus 8 square roots of 3 squared, it will equal 16 squared. So you can check your answers pretty easily. This is also a problem where you could do the Pythagorean theorem because you know two of the three sides. So we're developing multiple tools for being able to solve these problems. Now, example E, you can't use the Pythagorean theorem because you only know one side. And in this case, we happen to know the long side. So I don't know the short side, and I don't know the hypotenuse. So long to short, so the long side is the short side times the square root of 3. So put in what you know, 15 equals s square root of 3, divide by the square root of 3, and now I have that s is equal to 15 square roots of 3, but we know we can't leave that square root of 3 in the denominator, so we need to rationalize. So I have 15 square roots of 3 over 3, simplify, and the short leg is 5 square roots of 3. Now the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg, so my hypotenuse is 2 times 5 square roots of 3, so my hypotenuse is 10 square roots of 3. Now notice that I did have to use the value I calculated because you can't calculate straight from the long leg to the hypotenuse. You have to go through the short leg to the hypotenuse. So let's look at F. In F, Here's my 30. I know my short leg. Here's my hypotenuse. Here's my long leg. So the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg, so that makes my hypotenuse 10. That's a nice one to calculate. My long leg is my short leg times the square root of 3, so in this case I have 5 square roots of 3. And that is calculated. Again, you could check it by saying 5 squared plus 5 square roots of 3 squared has to be 10 squared. So that's a nice way to check. Our last two examples, if I know 60, this is my long side. Here's my hypotenuse. Here's my short side. So my long side is equal to my short side times the square root of 3. So 14 square roots of 3 is equal to s square roots of 3. Divide by the square root of 3. 
So my short side is 14. My hypotenuse is 2 times my short side. So my hypotenuse is 28. So as long as you have those two formulas for the 30, 60, 90, it's just a matter of plugging in what you know. In this case, I know my hypotenuse. Here's my long leg, here's my short leg. So my hypotenuse is equal to 2 times my short leg. So 12 is equal to 2s. Divide by 2. My short leg is equal to 6. Well, my long leg is my short leg times the square root of 3. So in it goes. My long leg is 6 square roots of 3. Handling those as exact answers is clearly much easier than dealing with any decimal approximation. Go ahead and try the practice problems and tune into part three.